Hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. Hey Virtual Survivor, it's me, Marilyn, and I just was the fourth person voted off, and it doesn't really feel too good. Uh, I just have a couple things I want to say. First of all, my mom coming in was a complete surprise. I didn't know she was home, so that was pretty awesome though, and I thought it was funny how she came in. Um, I'm just super happy with myself, super grateful for how I played. Um, I really, really want to say good luck to Rainier. I was close to like, oh uh, yeah, I knew he was close to putting the eye over me. And I love that kid so much. He's so good. He's such a well-rounded, good kid. He has a great heart. He speaks so well. I hope he continues to go far. And congrats to Michael for lying to me. He really, <laughs> he really had me fooled. So good for him. Also, I want to wish people from the other tribe who I really liked, who I felt like I liked more than my original tribe, Marco, oh, I love that guy so much. I hope he goes far. Eve, I love Dia, I thought we were really good. And Griffin, we talked about her a bit, but I really liked Griffin too. Um, not really, everyone else, mm, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no hard feelings to like anyone at all, like not even any. Like, it's a game and I was just trying to get you out. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry for the things I said, but like, you said the same things about me, so like, eh. But no, I want to know, like, I don't hate, no hard feelings towards anyone, Zach, Andrew, love them both. They're both awesome guys. Um, I wish something that, something that I feel like affected my game was the lack of diversity, I felt like, because I felt like we had a lot of, um, similar types of people casted, like, people from the online community a lot. There weren't very much, like, there were very similar, like, YouTubers, Twitchers, and Discorders, like, People who are in those same kind of circles, I feel like, who could bond over that easily. I feel like if we have more diversity, more women, more minorities, it would create the chance for more relationships, more interesting relationships to build, more interesting dynamics, and um, people want to have certain sim similarities to bond over. And just more diversity, I feel like, would be better and more realistic about how our society actually is, because we are a very diverse group of people, and we should have diverse opinions. Um, I'm so grateful for Survivor Geek for allowing me to play. This was an awesome experience. I'm so glad to play on this like major channel with all these people watching. I hope you loved watching me play. I really tried to play hard. I feel like my Survivor video screwed me up and Bonnie and Alicia, but I had no choice. No one else wanted to play with me because of my Survivor video. But I'm super grateful. I had an awesome time. And a message to my fellow castaways. Reem Daily follows me on Instagram, so who's the real winner? And also, that Survivor Audition video, Kelly Wentworth, the goddess herself, reviewed it. And we're best friends on Instagram, we DM each other all the time. I love her, I love Kelly Wentworth and Reem, they're BFFs on Instagram. So that's my flex, name drop for y'all. Mirror one out, love y'all, goodbye. I got beaten by a spider for doing this item if you can actually see it. Anyways, um, I think the title of this episode should be Sneaky. <laughs> You know, there are sneaky players, like you've got Poverty, you've got Kelly Wentworth, you've got Tony Blachos, who I will mention later, and you've got Garrett. You know, he's flying under the radar so much that he's actually truly sneaky. And he was part of my alliance, but I will let you know what I did. So as Tony Vlachos invented the spy shack i decided to invent the spy bag so i was just laying right there trying to see if i could see anything and i saw garrett and he was walking by and smoothly very smoothly grabbed something and i saw him he was grabbing this little scroll and just put it in his crotch area. After that, I don't want to know what is in there, <laughs> but I want to know what it says. I knew that it was something. So I decided, I, I saw that, I got the information. So I could either blackmail him or I could just ask him politely. <laughs> I mean, at this time, he is part of my alliance, but guess what? So I approached him and asked him, Hey, Garrett, what's up? You know, like, um, and he was like, Oh, what's up? You know, and I told him, I've got to tell you something. I actually saw something. And he immediately said, like, Oh my God, did you get an advantage? And I was like, Really? Do you think that I'm blind? Or do you think that I'm stupid? <laughs> None of the above. Actually, 
I told him, no, I actually saw you grabbing a scroll. And he was like, oh, like, like if nothing had happened, you know, obviously you tried to hide that information from me. And that means that you don't trust me. So I don't trust you either. <laughs> Uh, but I pushed him, you know, that's what I can do. I'm a journalist, so I can get information kind of easily. And I got the information that he actually got an advantage. And he had to tell me because I knew about that. And then I pushed him to actually tell not just me, but the whole alliance. And he did. And basically, at that point, he was against the wall. I mean, whatever. That was a lame advantage anyways. The lamest advantage of the game. But that just showed me that he's a sneaky. He's true colors. He's a strategist. And he's not really laying down there. He's playing the game. And, you know, I want him out. You know, once we hit merch, hopefully I can hit merch, he's gone. Bye, Garrett. I was not expecting Eddie to be the one going home today. I did not I did not have any relationship with him in the game, but I knew that some of my allies were working with him and had the majority on that tribe. So to see him gone is difficult because obviously my allies on the other side are now down in numbers. And it was a really unfortunate circumstance, but I'm glad it didn't happen to me into this next meeting <sighs> Rainier found the idol and he's kind of tied with Marwan and we're thinking of splitting the vote but Michael's really close with Rainier and I'm trying to convince him to get Rainier to play the idol on himself so that we can get Marwan either way though if Rainier plays on Marwan or Rainier plays on himself one of the two will go effectively flushing the idol so quiz challenges are my thing, and survivor quizzes are on top of my list. So I basically did not rock this challenge because I got the worst questions. Like who knew that? No one. Uh, anyways, like if it was an individual immunity, I would have won for sure, but I did not. And now because of that, we've got to go to Tribal. Oh, I really, really don't like Andrew, Zach, and Yenny. So Renier told me he has the idol. Great for me. So Renier, me, Garrett, and Alex are all on a four. And we're going to try and pull in Thomas at the Zoom meeting because he's impossible to reach out outside of the Zoom meetings. He, ah, uh, frustrating. Anyways. So, but Zach was telling me that he knows Rainier has the idol because he saw him on the same dock. Like, you could see at the bottom, like, Rainier's icon. I don't know if he believed it. Someone may have leaked the beans to him, and that is worst case scenario. But I don't honestly think, I don't know why Garrett or Michael would do that. It wasn't me or it wasn't Rainier. Like, I just think they're dumb enough. I don't think they're dumb enough to do that. Oh, but Zach, ooh, he does not like me. I can just tell, like, he's trying to be so fake. Like, he's like, well, I know you wrote my name down last tribal council. Because you were coming after me and Alicio, dude. Like, and you guys would have voted me off and you were talking crap about me. Oh, Zach is, mm, I like Zach as a person. We had a really good talk, but he's making me mad as a player. Because he's just, like being so fake and i'm trying to convince renier to use the idol on me and tell them they're coming after me because i would love to have the idol played on me hello you're safe duh that's best case scenario so i'm gonna try and tell renier that i still think i am their target so he'll play it for me and that's what i'm hoping for Ooh, ah this game is so scary and i'm scared for a tribe swap which could happen and it would be a weird number at 17, but maybe at 16, there will be a tribe swap. And I am scared for that, but I have more friends on the other side, so I will flip to them. And I have, and if I am with Andrew, Zach, or Yinny, I will flip on them so easily. So going into today's challenge, I feel good. I feel that we're going to be confident we're going to win. But if we don't win, I think I'm in a good place. I have Marwin and Renier on one side against Yinny. Alex, Michael, Zach, Andrew, and then I think it's Thomas is in there somewhere.
Uh, Rainier and Marwin went to vote for Yeni, but on the other side, I think we're splitting the votes on Rainier and Marwin. I found out Rainier has an idol, so hopefully we get him to flush it. If we do, have to go to Crabble. So the challenge was Survivor Trivia again. Um, nobody, want, nobody wanted to sit out in our tribe, but then Thomas said he'd do it. Um, we went 2-0 up, thought we were flying, we were going to win. Then we just bummed out. The questions were very difficult. Thought we, I had no clue. My question was on the weather, named, named tribe that is named after weather. Nothing came into my head, absolutely nothing. So then we ended up losing, so off to tribal we go. Going to tribal, I think I'm in a good position. I think everybody trusts me. I know I'm playing Renier and Marwin like a fiddle. Um, they think I'm with them, but I'm obviously not. I'm with the other group. So I think we're going to split the vote on a 4-3 on Marwin. Hopefully that happens. Eve talks to me and proposes an idea. She says that Corey and Declan are willing to flip after the vote because they've sort of realized that they're on the bottom now and they're getting desperate. That's good. If she's telling me the truth. And so the plan is that we talk to Declan and I'm being made as leader of this minority alliance that happened. And I'm scared of being the leader, but since I trust Eve, I go with it. The plan is, talk about voting out for Cody and let Declan know all that and make him safe. Declan, to me, when I talked to him, seemed very paranoid. So I do feel a little safer on that, but we're voting out Cody because he was the leader of an alliance. And now I'm being the leader of an alliance. I feel nervous. But I just gotta go with my gut. All of a sudden, everyone's telling me, vote out Griffin. I'm like, okay, so Declan won't be flipping. I, I guess at least Marco will join us, right? Nah, he still seems to be one to vote for, one to vote for Griffin. Along with Eve and Kyle tell me that we're voting for Griffin. And I'm like, where did... It why are people voting for Griffin? They say tribe unity, and I mean that's a good point. But uh, I I just uh, I just want to be able to have my friends trust me, and I guess they just can't trust Griffin. Here's hoping for the best. I just want to win immunity at this point. I really respect your game. You played hard from the very beginning. You got caught in a few too many lies, but I hope to see you on the beaches of Fiji one day. Because I know we both applied to be on the real thing. So, sorry. We're splitting the votes tonight. Hopefully flush and idle. So my vote is for Renia. Um, you're a nice kid, but I heard you have an idol. So you have to flush it. Uh, my vote tonight is for Renia. Um, we're just splitting the vote. And just in case you have, you're going to play an idol. Second vote for tonight. It's for one year again. Unlucky, you were on the wrong side of the numbers. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but um, we have to vote again. So my vote again is for Rainier. Sorry, but you're just not in the alliance.